This is the map BAM Citadel, so named because of the replica of BAM Citadel situated on this hill. BAM Citadel was a massive fortress city that would have spanned all across the surrounding grounds here. It's a nice map to look at, but it has some inherent problems that you can see by looking at my position as um, the attacker. Well, the AI is the attacker in this case. And because of the attacker-defender dynamic, the attacker has to fight uphill. The attacker does get this nice hill that he can use to camp on, uh, but in tournaments usually both players are attackers and um, will have to try to engage the enemy. Now, the player that starts up here is going to have all the advantages in terms of terrain. It's basically going to be an uphill struggle for the player that deploys down here, um, no matter how he tries to engage. If he tries to move up here, it's going to be very, a, very clo a very short and easy march to stop him. The same can be said if he tries to move all the way around here. And of course, this being a hot map, the more you move, the more you run, the more you're going to fatigue. And the terrain advantages that can be gained by a player that understands this map are substantial. Now, it, it's not an auto-win map for the player that deploys up here. You can still lose, of course. Uh, you can still get outflanked and then get downhill charged. But it's going to be much easier for the player that deploys up here. Now, uh, terrain notwithstanding, this is a great map for skirmishing for the player that starts up here. For the player that starts down here, it's not such a great map for skirmishing because firing uphill is less effective. If you're up here, it's going to be... A decent map for skirmishers, cavalry, infantry, basically everything, even special units. If you're down here, it's going to be a bit more difficult. You can basically hope that your opponent is going to make a mistake and maybe engage down here. Uh, you can try to move up, move up around the flanks and try to get the terrain advantage. But any way you move, you're going to have to move very far. And it's going to give the opponent a lot of time to respond and block off your attempts at outflanking and at gaining the higher ground so not a map i particularly like if you change the attacker defender directions around you have a map that is a bit more interesting i think but the problem with this part of the map over here is that basically half this map is useless uh, you won't see any engagements so the compressed space on this map is going to favor rushing and skirmishing but heavily in favor of the player that starts up here so not a map that i particularly like because it's so easy for the player who starts up here uh, and of course since the map is hot and since this the player down here will be fighting uphill uh, fatigue is going to be a very real effect on this map you can also have a sandstorm on this map uh, which is going to reduce visibility <laughs> significantly uh, so a very nice map to look at but in terms of balanced gameplay not a very good map strength and honor